Greetings and welcome back to Easy Promos. In this video, we're going to take a look at campaigns that are based on a microsite. And I'll explain what I mean by that. So in the applications dropdown, uh, you have contests, games, quizzes, and coupons, which constitute campaigns that are based on a microsite. So if I click into the puzzle game and I go to try a demo in this case, see how it produces its own link. And that is what it constitutes a self-contained microsite. So we're going to look at this more and other features inside these types of campaigns. Here we are back in the easy promos dashboard. And if I click on new promotion and then I select puzzle, I select the brand that I want to assign this to. And then I select the platform level white label in this case. So I click continue and in this dashboard, we have various options that I'd like to point out. The first is the link for the microsite is always up here at the top and it does not change. And it's only active and usable when the promotion is activated. Now you can enable a test mode. So by creating this campaign, there is actually a default uh, campaign that is usable. You're going to go through and make your changes to customize it to yourself without any programming requirements. But I will come back to this enable test mode in a moment. So down here on the left hand side, we have various uh, aspects of the platform that you can work through. The editor will go into uh, once we've uh, reviewed these and inside the editor is you, where you make your uh, graphic changes and your text changes and uh, set up all the uh, settings that are pertinent to your campaign. Then of course we have an emails platform which allows you to send automated emails to your participants. Uh, and then we have integrations which allows you to set up configurations to Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and other types of platforms. And then we have a publish area which we'll go into in a moment as well. And then uh, participants, you can quickly see your participants when people are, have entered your campaign by clicking into here and you can view rich information with respect to those participants. There's a winner section pertinent to when the campaign is done and you've picked your winners. And in the stats area, you can view participations, visits, sources, and, and, and much more. We have an interesting collaborators feature. If you're working with a team, you can assign collaborators to your campaign so they can work in this uh, dashboard as well. So let's click into the editor. Here, again, on the left-hand side, there are some options for you to work through. What we're looking at right now is the welcome page or the landing page of the promotion. And I just want you to uh, be aware that across the top, you have some toggles that are important to this page. And if I click into, say, another page, such as, say, the registration form page, then also along the top, there are pertinent toggles for this page. I'm going to go back to the welcome page. And uh, here you have a middle section, which allows you to upload and replace your uh, digital assets. You can type over uh, the title of the promotion, which will change things on the display here on the right hand side. In this promotion, what I will do is typically go through each one of these um, areas and I will make those changes to make it pertinent to my particular promotion. There's a lot of robust features inside of here and some other important aspects here would be setting your dates. I always like to point out that in this platform you can set your time zone and you can set a start and a finish date of the visibility of your promotion and you can also set the entry date, start and finish. And of course, if you have a voting campaign, you can also set independent dates for the start and finish of voting. It makes it very flexible, depending on what you're trying to achieve. There's a languages component. You can add multiple languages to your campaign if you're working within the white label. Uh, if you have questions about that, please reach out to us. There's uh, restrictions by country and age. We're just going to go through this quickly here. Uh, you have a whole design uh, element that you can work through here. Again, toggles across the top so I can work through uh, the fonts. I can work through 
background changes. And uh, I would upload my own background image here for the entire campaign, for example. We have a very robust prize area. So you would create your prizes by random draw, by participating, manual assignment, or by instant win. And there, is, there are some really powerful features inside of there. So you can create multiple uh, prizes and, and assign them and attach them to code sets if you're handing out unique codes for coupons, for example. And there's some other features in here as well uh, that allows you to further customize your campaign. When I click into the puzzle, uh, I have the flexibility here to customize my puzzle. So I upload an image and the system will break that image into a puzzle uh, at which you have some control over those settings. So I can set this up as easy or medium or hard and I can give a time limit. I can limit the moves. So it creates some real fun. I can put instructions in there so people can see the actual solved puzzle to give them an idea. And there's a uh, score screen that I can do some uh, quick edits to based on how I want it to look. And you can test the game here. When I've completed editing here. I exit the editor and I can always come back whether the campaign is live or in draft and I can always make edits to my promotion. Back onto the main dashboard page, if I want to work through this with my team or just test it myself and I haven't activated it yet, I click on enable the test mode and now I can click this link or I can send an invite to my team. I can click this link for now and you can see I've not done any edits to this campaign and I have a usable campaign that I can now test and see all the various pages for. I did say that I would take you into the Publish category or the Publish tab. Let's do that now. And in here, there are various options to look through. There's a widget section which allows you to populate this on any page in your website as an iframes. You just grab that code, place it in your CMS. And if sorry, if I go back to the Publish, there's some other features in here, like uh, for white label campaigns, you can control the link settings, for example. So if you want uh, people to land on the welcome page or you want them to land on a different page first, and if it's based on the microsite link or the widget, uh, depending on where you want them to land after somebody shares the promotion, for example, and let's say I see that and I click on it, where do you want to direct that person? So it gives you that flexibility. And for your a domain within white label you can customize your domain if you so wish i'm going to now exit that section and just a quick reminder your main link is always up here and it's usable when your promotion is activated otherwise you use the test mode i really hope this video has been helpful reach out to us if you have questions